I want to tell you first about a man who has been shot in the stomach area by a Singapore police officer during a morning raid on a cheating syndicate in Ballastia. The 36-year-old is currently in stable condition. He is one of seven suspects arrested for cheating offences. Deborah Wong joins us from outside the condominium where the incident happened. Looking at this quiet spot at the end of a small road, it's hard to imagine that a man was shot in one of the condominium units behind me. Now it's a private property, so we couldn't go in. But here's what we know. Police were conducting a raid to crack down on alleged scammers. Three plainclothes officers entered an apartment where they found four suspects inside. One of them lunged towards a police officer who fell and started bleeding from his face. A second officer warned him to stop attacking the first officer, but he didn't stop. When another suspect approached the injured officer on the ground, the second officer drew his gun as a precaution. Now, at this point, the first suspect tried to snatch the gun and he started struggling violently. Now, this is when the second officer fired a shot to his stomach area, but the brawl continued. The suspects were later subdued by backup officers. The injured suspect was sent to hospital while conscious and is now in a stable condition. Now, earlier during a press conference, police said that officers are trained and have to react swiftly to dynamic situations. In this case, they sense imminent danger. Now, this stretch of road is actually quite a quiet area and residents we spoke to say they didn't hear or see anything. The only indication that something out of the ordinary had happened was three police vehicles leaving the building. Otherwise, residents say it's quite common to see patrols in the area due to crackdown on vice activities. Now, just to give you a sense of where we are at, we are mere steps away from several budget hotels, a historical Chinese temple that's famous for opera performances, and a Durian store that's usually packed with people, even late into the night. I spoke to the Durian store's owner earlier, and this is what she had to say. If let's say this happened in morning, in the morning afternoon area, uh, of course, uh, that's a bit of scary, la, you know. Uh, our safety are all concerned, uh, customers and everything here. Last time we closed around 10 o'clock. So um, recently the crowds here are not many because uh, I think due to the COVID, not many people came out in the night lately. So over here in the night time, it's quite quiet. The discharge of firearms is rare in Singapore. Now, the last time it happened was in 2015. In that incident, police were chasing down drug suspects near where a high-level defence summit was happening. Police say officers are trained to respond to dynamic situations and the shooting is under investigation. There are many unknowns out there and the risks of our officers face on a daily basis are very real. This incident is one of such. Our officers have to be nimble and react to situations as they develop. The raid was part of an operation to nab a syndicate that allegedly used the particulars of others to buy new handphones and sign up for mobile plans after paying for them using stolen credit card information. They would sell the phones for cash. The telco involved lost about $43,000. The seven victims whose particulars were stolen were charged for the subscriptions. The suspects arrested are four men and three women. They are, they range, their age range is from 18 to 36 years old. Some of them are also being investigated for other offenses, including drug consumption. 